So what's up, y'all? I'm back. Music and movies with Esco. Let's go. So, yeah, I'm a man of my word. I came back, told you guys that the Nas Magic 2 album review would be coming. This album has been out for a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about it right here on Music and Movies with Esco. So, guys, for starters, this Magic 2 album, let's get this right out the way, okay? Let's just go ahead and put this out there. Magic 2 is not better than its predecessor. Magic 1 stands alone. So let's establish that. Let's get that confirmed and out of the way. Now, Nas is a truly legendary hip-hop MC. Hit Boy is an outstanding, legendary producer. I'm ready to give him that title. This dude is one of the best beat makers ever. This is their fifth time putting out a project. And yeah, I actually find this album to be pretty good, pretty stellar. I'm not going to sit here and trash this album. I thought this was a very good album. But the problem that I have with this album is that these guys continue to put out project after project. The trilogy, King's Disease 1, 2, and 3, for me, exceptional. Magic 1, another exceptional album. I think they are working together too much because the quality has dipped just a little bit. Now stick with me. The 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 content on this album, the lyrical uh, ability by Nas, the subject matter, things like that are still on point. The production still very good. What Magic 2 does not have for me is the cohesion, the flawless production, and just the ability to go ahead and just get into your zone instantly. It took a while for me to actually like some of these Nas pro- songs. Um, everybody's probably big on Office Hours with Nas and 50 Cent. 50 Cent's verse, I'm like, dude, come on. I've heard this from you before. It's tiring. How long have you not put a song out or featured? Just not a big fan of Office Hours. It's cool. But I'm not here to focus on the songs because you guys know I'm going to put my favorite five out there in a second. But me, the project does not have the same flair. It does not have the same. It just doesn't hit the same way as Magic 1. This is supposed to be a sequel. Some of these songs feel like leftovers, holdovers. And I will say this. This is a very good album. But it's just not what I expected because I expected what I previously heard from Nas and Hit Boy. And so since I don't get the same type of album, I just got to be honest with you guys and say that it takes a ding a little bit on their track record. The chemistry is still there. This is still a win album. It's not a loss, but it's a step down. You know, it's like they just... They just had a tall ladder and they just took two steps off. You know, they're still on the ladder up high, but they've taken two steps down. And so, you know, of course, it's my opinion. Others may agree. Some may feel, you know, they disagree. But ultimately, this is just not the follow up album that I truly wanted. Now, are there good things about it? Yes, we're going to get there. Uh, We're almost at that point. But I want to say that for me, you know, this 50 Cent feature didn't really have it. I know that the 21 Savage and Nas song, One Mike, One Gun, has been out for a while. And that was an okay song. I just, I can't, I I just don't like it. I, I don't really like One Mike, One Gun. And I understand what they were going for. I know about the time frame. I know it's an older song. 
You know, it's just a lot of songs on this album that was just okay for me. And ultimately, that's going to lead me to say that I just I just don't see the replay value being very high on this project. Now, what I can say is I'm going to take some songs from this Nas album. I'm going to add them to my, my greatest, you know, my greatest Nas hits uh, playlist, probably throw them into, you know, a hip hop ro- rotation, you know, every every now and then. But um, they came up just short. And hey, it's not taking anything away from them, I don't feel. But what I, I will dive into this before I go to my, you know, my favorite songs from the album. Um, Nas, maybe you could uh, give us that that AZ project. You know, maybe we can get a collab project between you and uh, AZ. Maybe you could switch it up. You know, I just think he needs to also maybe switch producers. There's absolutely nothing wrong with Hit Boy, but. Nas, what if you give us an Alchemist produced project? You know, what if you give us a, you know, a, a, a DJ Premier project? You know, um, you also work outstanding with Swiss Beats. You know, what if you give us a Swiss Beats, you know, EP or something? I mean, you've got a lot of producers that you've established yourself with. And just because you and Hit Boy are the ultimate tandem does not mean you can't branch out. Like, if Nas is going to be dumping albums at the clip he's dumping them, then I just wish that, you know, at this point, especially after hearing Magic 2, I, I would be, you know, slightly delighted if he would just change producers. I mean, he doesn't have to because this is a win album. So, you know, it's just kind of a preferential thing for me. Um, I like to hear him at this point, five albums in, just change producers, you know. And he doesn't have to because, you know, he's earned his reputation. I'm just one person. You know, he's earned the right to do whatever he likes. And this is definitely not a bad project. But, um, yeah, it, it just does not feel, it doesn't feel as special as the others. That's probably the best word I can use. It just doesn't feel as good, as great. It just don't, you know. So let's move ahead to my favorite five songs. Let's see if I can get five. I ought ought to be able to. So give me Motion. Give me Bokeem Woodbine. Give me Slow It Down. Give me Irvin Magic Johnson. And give me Abracadabra. I'll I'll take those for favorite five songs. Um, That's pretty much, uh, you know, a, a favorite five for me. This is a lot of songs on this album that uh you know they just sound they just sound good. I keep going back to good guys, and that's not a good thing in this case. Anyway, guys, I will say this um before I close, I got you know one more segment on this video to talk about. Um, hey nah, it's just uh hey, it's not a bad album. That's what I'm thinking, that's what I'm feeling, but it's just not on the same par. Um, I want to say before I get up out of here, guys, also. You know, it's a big, wide world out there. The Internet is a gigantic world. And perhaps if you should trip, stumble, slip or fall somehow up against this particular video, that's me reviewing Nas's Magic 2. Nas, if you somehow come across this, you're a goat. You're a legend as it pertains to hip hop. You and Hit Boy have truly established yourselves as an epic tandem of hip-hop MC and record producer. You guys have done it time after time. King's Disease Trilogy is epic, excellent series. And um, Magic, this Magic series is, is great. The first album was great. The second one was good. So, hey, keep doing your thing, vet. OG in the game. You really, really are shining at a later stage of your hip hop MC career. But for me, this is just a step down, just a small step down, if I could say. And hey, it a lot of people love this album. And a few of us, we just wanted, you know, another flawless project between you and Hit. And uh, it's nothing that uh, we can really nitpick over. Like I said, ultimately, dude, if 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 you go four for five, 
you know, or you go five for five and just one of them was good, solid, decent, you're a winner. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say for this video, guys. I recommend that uh, that you check out Magic 2 if you haven't, if you went to real hip hop. Nas is still that, one of the best at clarifying, um, you know, his lyrics, telling stories, just the way he's able to, you know, put words together. He's the he's a goat. He's the true wordsmith. Excellent at that regard. So, yeah, check this album out if you're a Nas fan. You know, if you like the Nas and Hit Boy series, if you haven't heard this album, get to it. But I would also tell you, make sure you listen to Magic One as well. With that being said, guys, I'm gone. Like, share, subscribe. I'll check y'all later. Peace.